What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some leaked uh, things that have come out about Black Ops Cold War that's suggesting we could be getting uh, the lightweight perk and maybe one more perk added into the game. Treyarch did state uh, back when the game was kind of getting hyped up, they were talking about the battle pass, you know, right before release. They did say that they were considering releasing more perks and more kill streaks with, uh, you know, particular seasons. Uh, before I get into all the details, if you're not subscribed, I wish you would take a second just to subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate it. Also, check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and also the affiliate GT Racing. Now that that's all out of the way, let's go ahead and hop right into the info. Now, all this stuff, of course, is leaked information. It is data mined information, so you can take it with a grain of salt, as always. This could be things that have been left in the game code. These could be things that were... Uh, going to be perks to begin with and they decided against it but the first perk like I said that a lot of people are talking about is the lightweight perk there's an emblem uh, that has been found in game of course it's the shoe with the wings on it um, which kind of reminds me of the marathon perk for some older black ops games that makes me wonder if maybe at some point they were not going to have unlimited sprint in game and they were going to add it as a perk you know the marathon perk kind of like they did back in the day with some older titles um, that could be the case they could have left it in there uh, but at the same time, a lot of people, a lot of fans want the lightweight perk. It's going to give you that little extra boost of speed to begin with. So that could be something that we could see added into the game later. Also, there was another perk that's kind of the one, it kind of looks like Team Link, the logo from uh, Black Ops 4, you know, has the swords kind of on it. Uh, but the difference in, of course, Team Link had the three swords on Black Ops 4, if you guys remember on the uh, kind of emblem for it. The new emblem kind of looks like uh, a sword with wings and of course the snake going around it. I was going, I was kind of wondering if it was going to be some kind of support uh, perk, or maybe like a, uh, something where you could heal yourself a little differently than maybe stem shot or your teammates. I'm not quite sure what this could be. Like I said, a lot of people are thinking that it could be team link. Uh, the only reason I would not think they would put a team link kind of perk in here. We already have one, uh, perk in game that, uh, if you ADS on enemies that they will show up on your teammates mini map. We also have, uh, of course, another, you know, perk that allows you to see, you know, kind of enemy spawn locations when they spawn up. So there's a lot of, there's two different perks in the game that kind of already act somewhat like team link. Now I know team link, I think also allows you to see your teammates through walls if I remember correctly, but I'm assuming that's not going to be the case with this perk. I don't think they would add something back like that. And like I said, to me personally, it does not exactly look just like that logo. I will link these two logos down in the description if you guys would like to look at them for yourself and kind of decide what you think. Like I said, this stuff could all be things that have been left in the game file. These could have been things that were going to be in the game to begin with. Treyarch decided to scrap them. It could have been uh, logos. A lot of times these companies will use things just kind of as fillers while they're, you know, finishing the game up and doing things like that. And they use these logos as just things to have there as placeholders. And of course, you know, sometimes these things don't get erased before the game is released. So they're still kind of in the game files. But I am interested to see what perks uh, Treyarch could bring to the game. Uh, the one reason I think they might bring Lightweight would be because, like I said, it is a fan favorite. And Treyarch has already discussed adding more uh, perks and more kill streaks in as the time goes on. It would be interesting to see more perks. I'm not quite sure how they're going to do it. Because in my opinion right now, Perk 1 and Perk 3 are really stacked with some nice perks. There's a lot of, you know, kind of classic go-tos in there. There's also some very good perks that a lot of people are not running, in my opinion, in that Perk 1 and Perk 3 slot. I did make a video the other day talking about the best perks in game. It's a little bit of a long video. Uh, I kind of went into detail about each perk, but I, I kind of felt like a lot of people need to know some information about some of the perks that may not be used to running or some that may be new to the game. So if you have not seen that, give that video a look. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Let me know what perks you think could be coming to the game, possibly. And if you liked it, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.